Let me ask you for a moment to check your surroundings for anything that is constantly moving. I guess if you're in a quiet room like I am, your answer will be not much. But let me tell you, there is actually something in constant motion and also chaotic motion around you. That thing is air. Air, as a fluid, is composed by a very large amount of these nearly impossible to predict swirls, ranging from very large to minuscule. This concept is called turbulence. And I'm sure that you heard about turbulence before. It's that annoying thing that makes our plane right bumpy, isn't it? Well, it is, but on the other hand, it's a little bit more complicated than that. There is not a universally agreed upon definition for turbulence. What we know is that qualitatively, turbulence is chaotic and very messy. In these three minutes, I will try for you to fall in love with this ugly duckling that I think is turbulence, and at the same time, making you understand that understanding turbulence is also helping us deliver clean water all around the world. Did you know that almost 30% of all the clean water that is sent to a pipe never reaches its destination? It gets lost somewhere along the way. Well, this is mainly due to leakages and bursts in the pipe network, but we are doing something about it. We're installing these tiny and new sensors in a lot of pipes. What these sensors do, essentially, is telling us how much water is passing through them. They're also equipped with this echolocation system, as the same way you're shouting in a cave and you get the echo back to you. These sensors, sensors send a signal and they can hear where the leakage is. So we can go there and repair it. The problem is that water and air are both fluids and they are both turbulent. So whenever water passes through these sensors, there is a mess after them. What I do in my thesis is that I study turbulence and fluid mechanics in order to improve these sensors, changing their shape. At the same time, we're also improving the water supply around the world. And as a plus, you can see pretty pictures like the one on the slide. The most important part about this research though is that it can also be applied in many different industrial areas because the world, as turbulence, is messy. But what a beautiful mess. Thank you.